So let's go to our parent object, which is student. So on the parent object, we'll go to fields and relationship and we'll click new as always. Uh, this time, uh, this is the first time you would have seen that this rollup field is being highlighted. You'll only get this option when this particular object has a master detail relationship and in this master detail relationship this particular object is the master only then you would get the rule up summary field selection here so let's click that and go click next again it would ask us to uh, put in a name so let's call it rule up summary and you can add a description and again here it gives you add it to the custom report text let's keep that checked let's click next now here you see it would it is asking us which object to be summoned so here we just see an option of our fees object however if this particular object is master of multiple objects then you would see all of those objects coming up here so let's select fees which is the only option available here then there are four types of roll up that you can create on the student object so one is count uh, which would basically count how many fees records are related to the student record then you can also do sum so you can sum a particular field also let's say if we have the, the currency field on the fees object then you can sum that up as well so and then you can also calculate the minimum value of a particular field on the child object and you can also calculate the maximum so here we are getting options of the last year because we haven't created any field on on our child object but let's do the count first and then we'll go and create a currency field on fees object and then we'll come back here and see how it looks like next section then you see here is it's called the filter uh, criteria so first option is all records should be included in the calculation and the second option is only records meeting certain criteria can be included in the calculation so either you want all the child records of this particular parent to be the part of your roll up or you can choose a filter criteria so in certain business requirements you might have to choose a filter criteria and say that i just want this particular uh, child records to be calculated to the parent so let's say for example like account and opportunities account is the parent and opportunity is the child so let's say uh, you might just want to count the new opportunities and you don't want to count the renewal opportunities so that could be a scenario where you would use filters however in our case we are not using any filters we'll calculate all the records for the time being we'll click next uh, we'll keep the values as default whatever it is uh, we you know whatever excess level is coming up by default we'll leave it as is by uh, you know uh, one thing to mention here is that roll up summary fields and formula fields are always read only they are not editable fields because the calculation is running in the background and user should not be able to edit it and another thing to mention is that the roll up summaries are calculated when the child record is updated whilst the formula field is calculated on the runtime like i said earlier and we'll click next uh, obviously we want to add it to the page layout otherwise how we will see uh, this particular field and we'll click save so now our field is added to the page layout so let's go to the fees object and create a relationship so let's create it to the record 5 and click save. now if we go to record 5 so here you see the roll up summary and it shows you one similarly if we create a new fees and we again link it to record 5 and click save this time we go to record 5 so it will show you the count as 2 okay now let's go to our fees object and create a currency field there and then we'll see the other three fields as well so let's do that uh, let's create a new field here we will select the data type as currency we'll click next and let's call it uh, fees paid 
because it is a currency value so it will have some decimal values as well so we are keeping 16 to the left and 2 to the right of the decimal we can make this field required as well so let's make fees required click next and let's keep rest of the values as default and next and obviously you'll want to add it to the page layout and click save so we have got our currency field let's go to the fees object obviously refresh once and go to our fees object and create a new fee record we'll still want to link it to the same uh, record uh, which is our record five let's keep that and let's say the fees is 1000 let's click save now let's go to our parent which is our student object and let's try and create the other set of roll-up fields select roll-up summary click next and let's say let's call it roll-up uh, sum let's call it roll-up sum please select the values as is and let's summarize our fees object and let's say sum so we want to sum the fees paid. So now you see the fee paid is showing up here. So basically if it is a currency field, a numeric field, it would come up in the fields to aggregate and you can select one of those fields for aggregation. So let's say fees paid here, right? We'll click next and keep everything as default and go on. So this would create a roll up sum field. Similarly, we'll create the max and min as well just to see the differentiation so this let's call it roll up max we'll select fees and say max and we'll select the fee paid here again and so here uh, you know you see the created date and last modified date so if you say created date then it would show the most recent created date or the if you say last modified then it would show you when was the most recent uh, child record was edited uh, so that uh, that value would that date and time value would come up in that so let's create the max using fees paid and we'll create the minimum using uh, last modified let's try doing that so we'll see it on the screen as well how it shows up right so we have got the max one let's create the minimum roll-up field as well and then we'll go on the record and see how it looks like minimum and let's do next and select our summarized object which is fees select minimum and let's select last modified date here right and we'll see what happens we are keep we are not putting any filter criteria for the time being let's do next next and save right uh, before we see that let's create another fee object and let's click into the same record so that we can see the difference and let's put the fees this time as 2000 now let's go to the parent and see what happens refresh once so you know if sometimes uh, you are trying to refresh and it doesn't work then what you need to do is uh, right click on your page click inspect and then uh, on the top refresh icon if you do a right click again you would see uh, an option showing empty cache and hard reload click that basically what lightning does is it stores the page layout and a lot of information on your browser to make it faster and easier to load but sometimes the changes which you do on the server don't show up on page immediately so that's why you have to remove all the cache and then get the fresh layout from the server and that's how it would show up so let's look up here we have got the roll up summary which says we have four fees records so let's see is that true yes because we created four records and linked uh, them to our uh, student object then the roll up summary sum is showing us 3000 uh, because we have two records with fees value one is 2000 and another one is 1000 and the maximum here so we have two records which is one shows fees as 1000 the other one shows 2000 so it says the maximum fees this particular student has paid it is 2000 and total he has paid is 3000 right and the roll up minimum so when at what time the the first fees was paid and that was 20th of june 2022 at 1635 
let's see is that true so technically based on these numbers if we just quickly go to this one and see so yes that's right this way you can create your rollup summary fields and we have seen a quick example of how these rollup summary brings up the value from the child records to your parent record if you have any questions you can uh, join the q a session which happens every friday 3 to 4 pm gmt so 7 30 to 8 30 ist please drop in your questions in the comment section and i'll get back to you